What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I just hit my microphone there. Uh, but anyways, uh, what's going on, everybody? And welcome to a brand new video on this channel. In today's video, I'm just going to be taking you guys over the FX Replay tool. This is one of the best uh, backtesting softwares out there for backtesting your strategies, in my opinion. I think some other backtesting softwares use their own charting system. FX Replay actually uses TradingView's charting system, which is 10 times better. And with the newest update of having multiple pairs and the journaling, this just is a no brainer for your backtesting software. So if you want to sign up with FX Replay, I think it's around $35 a month. They do offer a five day trial, so you can sign up for that five day trial to see how you like it. Uh, this is by no means a video uh, that they're paying me for. I just really like it as a trader myself. So as you can see in our dashboard, I kind of already had some testing going on. I did some testing on my strategy and we can currently see that over 25 days, I'm up 2.83% on this strategy that I'm currently testing. Uh, the one M does not mean one minute, it's the one month. So I did a one month test from November 1st to November 30th. But ignoring all of that in your dashboard, you have your session, you have your strategies and you have checklist. So your session is just basically your backtesting session from what date and what strategy you're going to be using. Your strategies is where you come up and create your strategies with a description and title. So if you click create strategy and we go with FEG strategy, we can give it a description, including our confluences with this FEG strategy, but that's just creating our strategy, right? If you just put test right there, we can see also it gives us an overview of our win rate, uh, wins, losses, break even, and the percentage we've made using that strategy, the total percentage we've made using that strategy. So what that basically means is say if you did a one month back test, a three month back test, and the one month back test resulted in a plus 5% and the three months back test resulted in a 10%, your total for that strategy is now 15%. That's just your overall percentage. Down here for checklist, this is where you can create a like internal journal for yourself. You can put like, uh, you know, your your actual strategy's name and then the confluences to that checklist. And then uh, you can go off in the chart once you start journaling of what that checklist includes. So for mine, for example, I would say like I need a um, break of structure. Just click add. Um, I need a fair value uh, a gap or imbalance for mine. I need a higher time frame zone being tapped into. And then uh, I think that's basically it. Break structure gap HFT main. Yeah. And then you just click save. So now to create the session, you just click create session. And in here, you can just basically go over the different stuff that they require. So account balance is your starting balance. So you can put like, say, 100,000 in here. Uh, the pairs you're going to be trading. I recommend doing only one pair just because um, the multi pair function is kind of not buggy, but it's just very hard to work with. So like if I use Euro, oops, Euro USD and then NAS 100, right? The two pairs that I mo most likely trade, uh, I'm going to show you what I mean by it's kind of tricky to kind of trade them. Start date is when you want your session to start by clicking on say the month right up here, you can choose what month you want to start or the years you can, you know, go back in the years and start trading them. Uh, but let's just make this simple. I'm going to do just uh, October 1st to October 30th just to make it simple, October 31st. So one month strategy. This is where, when we created our strategy right here, we just come in and choose which one we want. So for example, I click main, this is the name of your session. So we do a one month October back test. You can give the description to your session, smooth candles. I'm not sure what that is. So I just leave it off because I don't know what that means to be honest and save. So once we come here to get into our session or to edit our session, we just click on it. We can click edit, duplicate, analytics, journal, continue or delete. So you can delete or continue or play your strategy. We'll just click play now. Now over here, it's going to load up your chart. And like I said, this is like trading view. So you just set up your, your platform as like trading view with your color scheme and your favorite tools. I'm just going to, I'm not going to be going over that. I'm just going to be going over what FX replay is. So you have this come up, which we don't really need. Um, this is just getting in the way. So we just minimize it as it basically gives us a summary of our realized, unrealized and our account balance right here. Uh, object tree. We can just get rid of that by clicking here. Uh, now the setup I like to go with is to have my time, uh, my like forward right over here. And then I also like to click show events. So show events just basically means it's going to show the different news events and we just choose the country, right? So we do United States since I trade the New York session. I click apply. So then these news icons will show up down here. 
And what I also like to do is kind of drag this sidebar on over to kind of give me a view of the different news that are coming up. So now I'm not a fan of having all these news. I just want high impact news. So I just click on high impact news. Now, if you want to choose a different, you know, country, you just click the apply filters button and then you can add more countries like the United Kingdom, Canada or whatever. And those news will pop up. But since I strictly trade on New York uh, session, I don't really need those. And then I just like to drag this over until the year just so I can see what sort of news is coming in at what time and on what day so I can prepare myself. Uh, up here is your toolbar for skipping each uh, sort of candle. We can see that it has the one minute or the different time frames you can skip through. Uh, play and pause feature, which just means it'll go automatically, as we can see. And you can increase the speed if you'd like to. Uh, this is just the uh, next candle button. And then this uh, sync time frame with chart, this is actually a very handy tool and I recommend keeping it on as every time you change different time frames, so if you go into a 30 minute, this will sync up so that each candle kind of moves with it as well. Whereas if we had this off and then I go down to the five minute and click the forward button, it's going to move every 30 minutes. So it could mess up your kind of trading, um, your, your back testing. So just have this on so that they sync up every time you change the different time zones. Uh, from here, the next little tool that I like is actually the go to button or the go to feature. Uh, you can click go to next session, next day open, silver bullet session, uh, next news event or custom settings. So uh, I normally like to use the next day open uh, because I just, like I said, I strictly stick with New York session. So I just each time I just want to jump into that New York session. I don't trade each session. So and then the cool thing about this is actually you can choose the time that you want to use. So we go under custom settings and then we click on and we go under next day open. We can see that next day open New York time is set to 17 o'clock. Now, the reason why it's set to 17 o'clock is I think it's the time zone set differently. To change that, you just come down to the time zone down here where it says UTC minus five. You just click on it and then you choose your time zone. So for example, New York. Okay, continuing on, I do apologize for that uh, interruption. Um, you just wanna click on the time zone, choose New York time zone. It looks like it was, it was already chosen for me, but if you create a new account, it'll be at UTC up here and you just choose your time zone. So New York is my time zone. Then we can go back to go to custom settings and change this to whatever time you normally get up or whatever time you're on the charts. So for example, I like to start at 7 a.m., but I don't get on the charts until 7.30. So we can just set it at 7 a.m. or you can set it at 7.30 when you're on the chart. But I like to set it at 7 a.m. just to see what's kind of going on that 30 minutes beforehand uh, to see if I need to wake up that extra 30 minutes to see if any trades play out. So we just click save. And for example, if you click go to next day open, Right there, it's gonna take us right to the 7 a.m. candle, which is amazing. Okay, so now how to set orders. So to do or to place orders, it's fairly simple. Once you find your sort of strategy going on, so for example, um, let's see if I can spot one over here. I just go on the early time frame. Uh, okay, let's see if something plays out for me here. nothing as of yet actually we'll take a market sell order here i'll just show you how this works so if we go here we click our short position tool we click on here uh all right i'm so sorry about that again i got interrupted again with another phone call I'm pretty busy guy here uh so uh, going back to where it was placing an order so you just want to choose your tool and we'll set our stop limit up here we'll set our take profit to a one to two we click on the place order button right over here. And then over here, you just choose your risk parameters. So risking 1% is what I like to do. Uh, and it automatically kind of chooses your uh, risk amount of $1,000 and it puts your you know position size, entry, take profit and stop loss. And it automatically knows what side you're doing, selling or buying. And we're gonna change this to market. Once we click okay, these lines will come up and these are all adjustable. You can move them around. Uh, but as soon as we click the play button, it's going to put us in our position. So if we click play, we're inside of our positions right now. And let's just see if this trade hits TP. So we can see right over here, the position hit our TP. And like I said, our, our like summary is right over here. Our account balance, realized PL, and unrealized PL are all here. Now going back to that multi, um, the multi pair function, you can split the charts into two and have one on each side. 
but then you don't have you can't really do like your you, you're gonna have to switch the time frame for each one differently it's not like live markets where you can change between each chart and see what's going on be able to do your analysis it just gets a little tricky so for example if i put up the four hour here i have to click four hour then i have to click euro usd four hour then i have to do my analysis on the four hour for euro usd then do the analysis on nas 100 then you get to swap back on each chart to the five minute and then sometimes you might think that you swapped this euro usd chart from the four hour to the five minute but still on the five uh, on the four hour and the nasdaq's on the five minute and then you try taking entries based off of different time zones and it just kind of gets messy right so you know just keep it simple do um one pair only it, it it's really beneficial um to do one pair back test at a time although you will be at um at a risk of not getting so many entries i know from my strategy i utilize like i think up to six pairs that i look throughout the day to find my strategy and i'm able to find at least one trade per day whereas whenever i did my um your usd back testing i i only received within a month about a 2.8 percent increase uh, on the account where I would normally get around, say, I don't know, 5% or 6%, 5 to 10% per month if I was to utilize all my pairs that I was trading. Because sometimes Euro USD doesn't present strategies, whereas, say, for example, USD CAD does present strategy, uh, a setup for myself. But yeah, that's the functionality of placing an order. It's the same thing with going long. So if we go next day open, let's see if we can find a quick little strategy or a quick little play on Euro USD uh, going long. Uh, nothing as of yet nothing as of yet there we go we got some sort of setup going on and i can probably show you guys the uh buy limit over here so we click our buy limit so for example we target this liquidity up here place order while risking one percent and we can see the side is now buy and instead of market make sure you're swip swapping this if you do limits you got to swap it from market to limit i've done it so many times before where i left as market and it just takes me in as market so you click limit and it will set it at right over there. So now we go next candle open, tags us in and we get stopped out because of news. But this trade would have, I guess, gone to our TP if uh, news wasn't there. And we can clearly see that our balance went down. So now for the journaling, the journaling is pretty simple. We just drag this up. I think you can even go under the place order section and then click save and journal. So if we just sometimes, sometimes um, the place order section will bring up all zeros when that happens you just simply click on the uh, long position tool click place order and everything will kind of fill and if it doesn't just give us some time and it will automatically fill so if you click save and journal uh, let's just go to a see if we can find another trade real quick here maybe we'll go you know we have a buy uh, limit right over here so we'll just go long over here stops below aiming for a one to three we click save and place order so uh, everything's okay. Save and journal. And then we'll take a screenshot. So I'll take our before screenshot right over here. And then that checklist. Remember how we created that checklist? We can click on main and we can see we have a break of structure, a gap, and a higher time frame zone. And then you can insert some notes in here about your sort of um, uh, about what's going on. So we just click save. And then we'll let the trade play out. I'm just going to move this to my second monitor over here. So we're tagged in and we got stopped out. So we can see that if we go back to our journal here, we can go to my notes. Oops. Oh, actually, sorry. We can go into the day, which is the fourth here. And then we can click on view. And then over here, we click on edit and we'll add another screenshot here that says our stop loss was hit. And then if we go back, we click save. It'll show that on Wednesday, the 4th of October, there's a red icon showing that we've lost this trade, but it'll show green if you win. And that's basically the journaling function of this uh, FX replay, which is just super cool to have for $35 a month. Uh, and I think that's basically everything so far about this journal. I mean, everything else is just like trading view. Um, placing orders is super simple. This is kind of the layout that I've gone with. Uh, but yeah, if I do miss anything, I'll make a, like an updated video of just that item. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. See you guys all next time. Take care.